Let's talk about manias. Let's start with Beatlemania. <laughs> Hysterical teenagers crying, screaming, pandemonium. Sports mania, deafening crowds, all for one idea get the ball in the net. Okay, religious mania. There's rapture, there's weeping, there's visions. Manias can be good, manias can be alarming, or manias can be deadly. The world has a new mania, a mania for learning English. Listen as Chinese students practice their English by screaming it. Change my life! How many people are trying to learn English worldwide? Two billion of them. In Latin America, in India, in Southeast Asia, and most of all, in China. If you're a Chinese student, you start learning English in the third grade by law. That's why this year, China will become the world's largest English-speaking country. <laughs> Why English? In a single word, opportunity. Opportunity for a better life, a job, to be able to pay for school or put better food on the table. Imagine a student taking a giant test for three full days. Her score on this one test literally determines her future. She studies 12 hours a day for three years to prepare, 25% of her grade is based on English. It's called the Gao Cao, and 80 million high school Chinese students have already taken this grueling test. The intensity to learn English is almost unimaginable unless you witness it. Perfect. So is English mania good or bad? Is English a tsunami washing away other languages? Not likely. English is the world's second language. Your native language is your life, but with English you can become part of a wider conversation, a global conversation about global problems, like climate change or poverty or hunger or disease. The world has other universal languages. Mathematics is the language of science. Music is the language of emotions. And now English is becoming the language of problem solving, not because America is pushing it, but because the world is pulling it. So English mania is a turning point. Like the harnessing of electricity in our cities or the fall of the Berlin Wall, English represents hope for a better future, a future where the world has a common language to solve its common problems. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Jesus. Are you right? No, I'm having a bit of a nightmare, Ashley. What's the matter? Well, I've got all the international CEOs from around the world in this room. In 10 minutes, the annual summit's supposed to take place. They've flown thousands of miles to get here, and my translator hasn't turned up. <laughs> I need to find someone who can translate into seven different languages. Well, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I did a TEFL in my gap year. <sighs> Welcome back to London, ladies and gentlemen. This is Helen Marsh, who will be our interpreter today. So, without further ado, Let's address section 1.1, multinational profiteering for the financial year 
2006. Helen. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. Gurdy, 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 gurdy. Gurdy. Ah, oh, bud, 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 bud. Oh, bud, bud, bud. Sandwich. Beth, I'm going to America. I'm going to have to learn to speak with a flawless American accent so as not to arouse suspicion. So find me the greatest accent coach in the world. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. You would like to buy a ham burger. No, no, no. Let's break it down. I, uh, I, uh, would, 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 would. Like, 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 two, 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 bye, 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 a, a, hamburger, 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 ham, ham, burger, burger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. It's not damburger, hamburger. I'm not saying damburger. I said I would like to buy a damburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the hamburger. Hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Maybe we should stop. We don't quit. We do not quit. Again, again. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the burger. I would like to buy a hamburger. 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 The burger. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, do you speak English? No, I don't. Sorry. Oh. Um, my car's broken down, and I wondered if you could tell me where to find a garage. You, well, you know that's that's wasted on me. I don't I don't understand what you're saying. You don't speak any English at all. Not a word. No. It's one of those things where really, I wish I paid more attention in school. But um, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Do you speak any English? English? No. <laughs> What's the problem? I don't know. I, I can't understand that. Hi. Uh, my car's broken down, and I need to find a garage. No, I'm sorry. I didn't understand that at all. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, uh, tell you what, if you go down that way, about half a mile, there's a village. Um, there might be somebody there that speaks English. He's speaking Bisnian 
Deutsch. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Deutsch, nein. Sprichst du Deutsch? Deutsch? Nein. Nur ein, ein oder zwei Wörter, aber ich bin nicht fließend. I'm, so, I'm sorry, could you more help? Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, you never know. Next time you're over, maybe we'll have learned a bit of English for you. Yeah, oder Deutsch vielleicht. <laughs> ja, das wäre toll. <laughs> I can speak English. <laughs> so can I. <laughs>to learn this local language. You know, you'll buy a phrase book, you'll speak some Spanish, French, something like That's that. Fair enough. But I've noticed American tourists never bother with that kind of thing. No, oh, the no. Americans, they're, they're hopeless. Now, they're quite rude. You always see them in Europe, you know, asking people, do you speak English? You know, usually quite loudly too, don't they? And even, even when they actually do have people speaking English to them, Americans don't even understand their accents. They I don't. Mean, they even put subtitles over Susan Boyle when she went on Oprah. And Boyle comes from the UK, the birthplace of the English language. Honestly, I mean, Short of having a translator, I do not know how American tourists can communicate with locals at all, even when they visit England. Excuse me, ladies, do you speak English at all? Yes. <laughs> We're English, so yeah. I can't understand a word you're saying. I, I, I'm from America, we only speak English. Do you speak English? Yes, I'm speaking English. I, I need directions, but I only speak English. We speak English. English, yeah. Yes. Can, can you speak English? Yeah. We, we, English, so we English, can you speak English? I just don't understand. Can, okay, can, well, I can understand you. <laughs> I'm trying to go. It's okay, to, you don't to, need to yell, I understand. To, to, I need to go to Gloucester Street. I, I, I yeah. I need to go to Gloucester. Glow, Gloucester. Glo Gloucester. Gloucester. Gloucester Road. Gloucester. Do you know the way to Gloucester? We speak English. I'm English. Sorry, Gary. Sorry. I speak English. We are, we are like here. Do you want me to translate for you? I, or to, I, do you are you looking for Gloucester Road? Gloucester Road. Gloucester Road. Oh, He's actually looking for Gloucester Road. I'm Whereabouts to, is it? Uh, it's, we are, we are, we're near Victoria. She's <laughs> saying that we are near Victoria. <laughs> OK, so how do I get to Victoria? So you get uh, to how Victoria. does he get to Victoria? I'm telling him to walk out the park. Go walk on, out the park. OK. Go onto the main road. Go onto the main road. OK. And walk down until you see Victoria. And walk down until you see Victoria. OK, so <laughs> how far is it? How far is that? He's asking. Three stops. Uh, she's saying it's like a three subway stations. Okay. So three, three stops. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Okay. That's right. Can, thank you very much. Uh, he says, uh, "Thank you, thank you very much for your help." So, so thank that's you. right. Thank you, thank you so <laughs> much, right. man. Right. They are hard to understand. These English people, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm sorry. And they're a real pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're just saying how helpful you've been. Thank you. <laughs>
Нам необходимо выбрать моего преемника. И он единственный, кого примет оппозиция. Он считается с мнением только одного человека, самого себя. Почему вы так настаиваете на Черчилле? Его репутация катастрофична. Позволим увидеть себя настоящего, совсем не тщеславного. Но непреклонно. И с чувством юмора. О -о -о. Ваше Величество. Мой долг – предложить вам занять пост премьер-министра Соединенного Королевства. Впервые я обращаюсь к вам как премьер-министр. Немцы взяли в кольцо 60 британских и французских дивизий. Западная Европа на грани краха. Счет идет на дни. Сколько они продержатся, если мы не придем на помощь? Пару дней. И только чудо поможет вытащить наших солдат. На твоих плечах все бремя мира. Нас ждет неминуемое поражение на суше. Полный разгром армии и неизбежное вторжение. Мы должны начать переговоры о мире. Когда вы, наконец, поймете? что невозможно договориться с тигром, если твоя голова у него в пасти. Вздор. Единственная опасность... Не перебивайте меня, когда я перебиваю вас! Нам предстоят долгие месяцы лишений и страданий. Многие древние и прославленные государства попали в тиски нацистского режима. Но мы будем защищать наш остров, какова бы ни была цена. Мы будем драться на море и на суше. Мы будем драться за каждую пять побережья, за каждое поле и каждый холм. Мы будем драться за каждую улицу городов и деревень. Мы никогда не сдадимся, ибо без победы нет жизни. Темные времена. Смотрите в кинотеатрах. So, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times has 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper. That she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Ben, I might have something. It must be precious cargo. It's just government secrets. The New York Times was barred from publishing any more classified documents dealing with the Vietnam War. If you publish, we'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. Nixon will muster the full power of the presidency, and if there's a way to destroy you, by God, he'll find it. I'm asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. She can't do this. The legacy of the company is at stake. What will happen if we don't publish We will lose. The country will lose. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham?
то, что произошло, это колоссальная военная катастрофа. Мы пойдем до конца. Мы никогда не сдадимся. Нас вызывают. Отправляемся в Дюнкерк. На что и все готово. Ты что? Ты в курсе, куда мы идем? На войну, Джордж. Я пригожусь, сэр. Это наш. Он на хвосте. Я за ним. Корабль отходит. Спускайтесь вниз. Торпеда! Нужно больше кораблей. С каждым часом враг все ближе. Они задействовали гражданские суда. Гражданские? Тут нужны миноносцы. Куда мы направляемся? В Дюнкерк. Я туда не вернусь. Вернемся, погибнем. Вы простые моряки, они а чертов флот. Вы должны сидеть дома! От этого не спрятаться, сынок. Это наша работа. Разворачивайтесь! Мы будем сражаться на берегу. Мы будем сражаться в районе высадки. Мы никогда не сдадимся. Мы никогда не сдадимся. Мы никогда не сдадимся. Где чертова авиация? Зубную щетку взял? Да. Дезодорант не забыл? Есть. А запасную одежду? Кстати. Да. Они в курсе, что я черный? А это важно? Может, стоило их предупредить? Мам, пап, я приеду со своим черным парнем. Только не удивляйтесь, что он темнокожий. Братан, я тебя совсем не узнаю. Едешь черти куда? Знакомиться с семьей подружки. Смотри, не увлекайся, а то еще научишься хорошим манерам. Так вы из города едете? Да, к родителям на выходные. Покажите ваши права. За рулем был не он. Это не важно, мне нужны его документы. Зови меня, Дин. Да, я тебя обниму. И давно у вас двоих. Это самое. Джорджина и Уолтер ухаживали за моими стариками. А когда те умерли, я оставил их жить здесь. Ты куришь при моей дочери? Скоро брошу. Мы поможем. Как? Гипноз. Сам справлюсь. Ты готов? А чего мне бояться? Я тут кое-что раскопал. У них там черные пачками пропадают. Да брось. Ты меня слышишь или нет? Здорово, что я здесь не один такой. Крис как раз говорил, что был рад меня встретить. Убирайся. Прости, старик. Не надо. Прочь! Эй! А -а -а -а! Успокойся! Роуз, нам пора. Что случилось? Дай мне ключи. Скорее. Не могу найти. Роуз! Погружайся на дно. Нет, нет, не Ты надо. Ты тонешь. Разум необходимо сохранить. Во что бы то ни стало. Здесь слишком много белых, и мне страшно. Не. Ну что ты? Нет, 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 нет. Прочь. Разум необходимо сохранить во что бы то ни стало. Смотрите в кинотеатрах с 11 мая. I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. 
Educated at a private school in England. I run my own firm in the city. I'm very happy with my life the way it is. On the left is the Hall of Peace. On the right is the Hall of War. Which one would you like to see? Neither you, your family, nor your father are safe. To protect your family, this is what you have to do. Morning, Mama. What is it? I have to go away for a while. I was told to take a man to a hotel. They said he was an enemy of the state. Take off your dress. And in exchange, my mother would get the doctor she needed. Instead, they cut his throat. There could be no witnesses. So, they gave me a choice. Die, or become a sparrow. From this day forward, you will become sparrows. Weapons in a global struggle for power. You'll be trained in psychological manipulation. You must learn to push yourself beyond all limitation. Take off your clothes. When we are finished with you, the person you were will no longer exist. Every human being is a puzzle of need. You must become the missing piece, and they will tell you anything. You have a gift. You know how to survive. This is what you were meant to do. There is a traitor in the government. His last known contact is an American. Get close to him. I thought I saw you in the pool yesterday. Are we going to become friends? Is that what you want? <sighs> She's a sparrow. You only matter because of what you can do for them. Work with me and make these men pay. You are better at this than any of us. Your only problem is you have a soul. We can't trust in a word that comes out of her mouth. There's something else we're not seeing. If she's compromised, she will be eliminated. What have you done? You belong to them. They'll never let you go. I'll find a way.